so I'm Sam Sipes. I'm the president and CEO of Lutheran Services Florida. I've been here since uh, 2007. LSF is the, uh, the social ministry organization of the Lutheran churches in the state of Florida. And we've been around for, actually we'll be celebrating our 40th anniversary in 2022. We have as our vision, a world where children are safe and families are strong and communities are vibrant. And everything that we do as an organization addresses one or more of those things. You know, we have a lot of different programs, but, but all of them can be tied back directly to those three core functions. And what I really love about working here is that I get to work with a lot of other people who are also called to their work. You know, they're here for bigger reasons. This isn't just a job. This is something that people are really passionate about. The work that we do is, is, is important. It, it, has, it has a real impact on people's lives and we can make a real difference in people's lives. Hi, I'm Amelia Fox. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer and Chief of Staff at Lutheran Services Florida. I've been here about five and a half years. It's fascinating when you look at LSF's history. You know, the mission of bringing God's healing, hope, and help to people in need has stood the test of time. And so while we started in the early days with a refugee program, a Head Start program, and a youth shelter, over the years, the needs of the communities were growing and we had the opportunity to, to begin serving. So as we brought on new programs, brought on new services, that mission held. And I think that's really, you know, at the core of LSF and why we were able to grow and grow successfully, that we never lost sight of who we were and what we were about to do. Kind of built into our DNA as Lutherans is this, this desire to, to love and serve our neighbors. Lutheran Services Florida, you know, was founded out of a really grassroots effort on the part of congregations. After the Vietnam War ended, there was a, a big surge of refugees that came into uh, not just Florida, but, but uh, particularly along the Gulf Coast states. And the refugees coming were coming from war, a war-torn country, right? Most were coming from Vietnam, also from Haiti. And you can imagine, you know, they're, they're coming into an environment that's this complex already and leaving a very complex environment. Then the Mariel boat lift happened, and, and their capacity to respond was really overwhelmed by that. And so that was, uh, at that time, the decision was made that they needed a, a professional organization that could help address that need. And that, that was really the, the genesis of uh, what was then called Lutheran Ministries of Florida. In the early days, 80s, 90s, sort of early 2000s, uh, people were drawn to the mission. And so LSF was able to recruit people who were drawn to helping other people. And in fact, a lot of LSF employees, a lot of LSF staff had experienced the same things that their clients had experienced. For example, in our refugee program, a lot of the staff were refugees themselves at one point. In our Head Start programs, a lot of the teachers actually were Head Start kids or had head kids in Head Start themselves. So a piece of, of what draws people to LSF is the ability to come back and give back. I work at LSF because I love what I do and I want my life to matter. Every day, it's my prayer that when I wake up that I impact someone's life. And when I stand before God at the end of my life, I want to say I have given everything, my, my passion, my drive, my focus, and my heart to doing what matters in this world. And that's working at LSF. My name is Dakota Wilkinson. I work at LSF because of the impact that I can make um, indirectly. I typically don't deal hands-on with the programs, but I'm able to uh, provide the resources and tools that they need to be able to operate to maximize our impact in the community. So my name is Ross Dietrich. I'm the Director of Development for LSF, and I work at LSF because for me, employment has always been about putting myself in a position to do good for people. And I love what I do here because I get to go out to the community and I get to speak with people who have huge hearts and meet with them. And I get to connect them to a place and to people that can benefit from their generosity. And to me, that's just a privilege. So in sort of more recent history, um, we grew really quickly. Sam Sipes, our CEO, came in in 2007, I believe. Really, the agency was doing well, and we had been doing well for several decades. I, was, I came here from a Lutheran organization in Texas that I'd been at for 15 years, and it was really just a, a wonderful opportunity that, that this was a very stable organization, and I wasn't hired to come in and fix things. 
But what I was challenged by, by the board of directors to do was to look for opportunities to expand and do more because there hadn't been a lot of growth here uh, in the years leading up to 2007. The needs in the community were, were increasing. And so uh, there were a lot of opportunities that opened up for us that were, where funders were looking for qualified nonprofits who had a reputation for success and a reputation for delivery of services. We began by talking with our community partners, uh, doing assessments of needs in various communities, doing some internal assessments of our own capacities and what, what were the things that we were really, really good at. And then we, we started to grow and, and we grew and we grew and we grew. That period's really marked by incredible growth. We went from about 30 million in revenue to about 150 million in revenue. Uh, in our Head Start programs, we added um, 750 employees and started serving about 7,000 kids throughout the state. Uh, we now serve a 23-county area in Northeast Florida that serves about 74,000 clients. And we began serving about 6,700 children through our child welfare, welfare programs all in that period of time. The LSF now has over 60 programs. Uh, we are statewide, and last year we served, uh, you know, around 500,000 Floridians that were in need in a variety of different programs. We do everything from foster care, adoption, runaway youth shelters, substance abuse and mental health work, the uh, frail elderly and disabled uh, population uh, through guardianship. There's a lot of different things that we do, again, in an effort to respond to community need. Hi, my name is Carlos Jose Peralta. I'm a community outreach coordinator here for Lutheran Services Florida. I've been here for the past five years. And I love working here at, the, at LSF because of the job they do, uh, all the help they provide for people. As a Christian, that's a very important uh, thing for me because uh, I love also helping people. And it's, it's a wonderful job. It's not, it's not even a job for me. I just love being here and helping people as, as they arrive into the United States, uh, becoming successful here in, in this new country. My name is Dr. Christine Caulfield and I'm the Executive Vice President of Substance Abuse and Mental Health for LSF, and I also am privileged to serve as the CEO of LSF Health Systems, the second largest managing entity in the state of Florida. It feels so good to work with the Dream Team here and be able to help children, adolescents, adults, and seniors that live with mental health and or substance use disorders. I'm inspired by our staff every day and, and every time I get to know a new staff member a little bit better than, than, than I did before, I learn something that, I, that I'm inspired by almost, almost every time. The people who work at LSF have to be motivated to get up and go to work every day and it's, it's hard. It's hard work. The, the days are long, the weeks are long at times and I think everyone who works here has a sense of whether or not you're on the front line or not on the front line you're helping people. And there's so many stories of success and so many stories of redemption and so many clients' prayers answered that people keep coming back to work every day. My name is Eric Scott and I'm the shelter supervisor for Oasis Youth Shelter and I've been working for Lutheran Services now for 10 years. My, my goal every day is to make a mark in somebody's life that cannot be erased. We literally have kids that come in here crying because they don't want to be here. And then when it's time to leave, they're crying because they don't want to leave. If you need to get back in school, if you have a family issue, if it's substance abuse, whatever it is, come to us and let us help you. And that's our job. We're here to help kids. Yeah, they helped me with a lot of stuff. Got me clothes, got me shoes, a uh, place to stay. We get to go to restaurants to eat. We get to go like to a special event. If you're going here, eat, you should be set. This, is, this place is the best shelter I've ever been to. I don't think there's no other shelter like this. People like Eric, draw people who are, who are competent and who are good and want to serve. His love for the kids is amazing, and that's the kind of people that we draw. And so I think that's such an important part of staffing for us. So many other kids come back to see me at Oasis Youth Shelter. They still reach out to me. They can be 25, 26 years old. I still consider them my babies. My name is Kiara Wright. I work here at Oasis Youth Shelter in Fort Myers, Florida for about almost a year. Kiara was a youth that used to be in the shelter um, years ago. She called me and she said that she wanted to work with kids. Uh, I asked about our uh, rehiring. I told her I think it'd be a good idea for her to actually work for Oasis Youth Shelter because she's been in this situation. So she's one of the ones that can tell kids, okay, I've been through this too. You can make it out of this. So she actually works for us now full time for LSF. From being a youth 10 years ago, I kind of 
remember walking into a strange, weird place, and I didn't really know what to expect. I'd never been to a group home before, and there was a lot going on at home, and I just kind of wasn't open to anything new. But being there, I learned a lot about myself, and I learned about others, and kind of how to treat others, and that kind of excelled me to be where I want to be and where I am today. I think I play such a little part, but when these kids, like, I come in every day, it's, hey, Miss Kiki, it makes me feel like I'm doing something so big in their lives. And it's a good feeling because I feel like I'm taking what I learned and I'm incorporating it into the lives of the new youth. Man, that's, that's like the ultimate gratification because, like, my thing is kids. I love working with kids. That's my passion. And for her, that one of the people that I help in the past to come back and say, because you helped me, I want to help others. It's like the ultimate gratification. Kiara's story is really why LSF exists, right? We, we serve to, to answer clients' prayers and we want everyone that we work with to leave us a little better off than when we came. And with Kiara, it's a great example of a, a child who came into our youth shelter at 13 from a broken home and in a really traumatic situation. And now she works with us. To, to be able to look back and see the impact that the organization has had, the work that was done by, by many volunteers really in the early days, you know, paid off in a way that people got a, got a start and then built an incredible life for themselves and their families and, and have become, uh, you know, really valued uh, and contributing members of, of the communities that they live in. LSF is still growing. Um, you know, in, in some ways I wish I could say that we weren't because the need wasn't there but the need is there. And so we're here to serve and ready to serve. It's really exciting to be here for LSF's 40th anniversary. You know, we started small with a few employees serving refugees in 1982. And now in 2022, we're 1,400 employees strong serving 43 counties across the state of Florida. We have to continually look around and, and look to see what the needs are today. They're not the same as they were yesterday and they won't be the same tomorrow. We've got to continually assess you know, are we doing the right thing? Are we doing it the best way that we can possibly do it? Are, are we getting the, the results? Is the impact happening that we feel like should happen as a result of the work that we do? I look forward to the next decade of building on that and building on that foundation, that we have so much knowledge and so much ability that uh, really, frankly, it's kind of a shame if we don't explode that and make sure that we're doing everything we can to advocate for the clients that we serve, to be there for the clients that we serve, and to help address the systemic problems that are facing every one of our clients. I work at LSF because uh, it's, it's a place where I get to make a difference in people's lives. And um, I get to work with other people who also are motivated to make a difference in people's lives. My name is Kara Wright and I work at LSF because I wake up every day inspired to inspire. I work at LSF because I love children, I love kids, I love the family atmosphere that we have here. Because it provides an opportunity for us just to be able to help. Working with a bunch of passionate people who are doing everything for the right reasons. The work that we do humbles me and it fuels my passion to serve those who are in need of help. I love people, I love working with people, I love learning, I love training, I love teaching. When you see a teen transform, it changes your life too. I work at LSF because I love the mission, I love the people, and I believe that we're really bringing God's healing hope and help to people in need. Yeah, it's crossed my mind out. I was like help improve the lives of children at Oasis one day as a staff. My name is Sam Sipes. I'm president and CEO of Lutheran Services Florida. And I hope that in celebration of our 40th anniversary, you will join us in our mission to, to provide healing, hope, and help to people in need. Thank you for being with us on this journey of our last four decades uh, as we celebrate our 40th anniversary. We are thrilled that you're with us, and we hope that you stay with us and find more ways to get involved and support the work that we do.